WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 41, NASDAQ off 119, S&P's off 25. Gold, gold contract down $43, traded at the 2,046 an ounce. That being said, we traded to 21.5230 overnight last night, and they gave it up in spades. Silver, silver down 94 cents, $24.91 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 75 cents. $73.32 a barrel, notes and bonds. Now, notes and bonds pull back with tremendously lighter volume, folks. They still want higher price, lower yield. And here's where we get some divergences out here. You had the 10-year down 11 ticks, 110.10, 30-year off 12 at 117.25. And let me just pull up the 10-year so you can see there's no sellers in the 10-year, man. You know, so that's telling me they still want higher price, lower yield. You can see this, 1.5 million, you know. And if we put this on, what you're going to see all last week, you know, bottom line is that uh, we were banging out 2.4 million, 2.1 million, 2.5 million, you know, so the bottom line is you can see you pull back, you pull back with light volume. We go over to the uh, gold contract, bottom line is that they took that, smoked it in a, in a monster way uh, overnight. Um, bottom line, well, actually it's 6 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, it took it up there, and you can see these are 10 minute bars, right? So. They took it up to the 21.52. It stayed there 40 minutes. And then just started drifting, drifting, drifting. It came all the way back down. And, of course, took it to the cleaners. We go to the dollar index. We take a look at the dollar. It looks to me like the dollar index more than likely is going to have a counter trend bounce. The counter trend bounce is going to basically keep pressure on the broad market. Because what we have here is this. Look at this. The composite is going to do like 6 billion shares. There it is, 6.2 billion shares, okay? So the composite's going after the gap. The NDX is going after the gap. The real question is, does the S&P go after the gap? Because the S&P rejected lower price out here today, had lighter volume. You know, but what does happen is that the NDX 100, as well as the NASDAQ, they, bottom line, lead the market up, they lead the market down. So I'm taking the, the point that the NDX... Well, the volatility in the gold market, the NDX and the comp is going. That's telling me that we're going to turn the marketplace and that S&P is going to go after that gap. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.